The TMCX program has been absolutely phenomenal for Bloomio. We are a team of technologists and engineers. So being in Houston, being at TMCX, has opened the door into the ecosystem that is the medical center. And, and so the reception about what we are doing has just been phenomenal, and the access has been phenomenal for us. about making a last minute walk-on music change, right, rather than under the pressure. I thought a better walk-on song would have been Flight of the Bumblebee. <laughs> My name's Catherine Liao, and I am thrilled to be here and to have an opportunity to tell you a little bit about Bloomio. So let me start with a question. How many of you or a loved one has been impacted by a cardiovascular disease? Raise of hands. You know, a little bit over half of you. And that's not surprising as heart disease is the number one killer. Now, what is surprising is the fact that we don't become heart aware until a critical event has happened, right? And another known fact is that one in three American adults are hypertensive. What's less known is nearly one in three are in prehypertension. And if we can simply reduce the population's systolic blood pressure by 12 to 13 points, we can reduce death from cardiovascular disease by 25%. So another question, who here monitors their blood pressure regularly? Come on, maybe a little bit more. Okay, so keep your hands up. There's a follow-on question. How many of you monitor your blood pressure at least twice a day as recommended by the Mayo Clinic? I think all the hands went down. Well, what gets measured gets managed. And unfortunately, the mechanism to measure blood pressure sucks, right? Today's blood pressure monitor is based on a century old technology. It's bulky, not quite portable. The squeezing of the cuff is annoying in the best case or painful and may even bruise for some. And then there are folks that get stressed out just by the act of having, you know, thinking about getting their blood pressure measured, raising their blood pressure, which is exactly the opposite of what you want. So rather than having a fully a holistic view into how your blood pressure fluctuates throughout the day, today all we get is a glimpse. Maybe not even a glimpse. There it is. And frankly, that is unacceptable. I mean, come on. Who here has an Apple Watch or a Fitbit, right? We are tracking the number of steps that we're taking, our heart rate while exercising, hours of sleep that we got last night. So why are we not doing that for such a critical you know, biomarker, such a critical component of our body? Well, fortunately, Bloomio is here to do so. We have created a revolutionary sensor that can measure your blood pressure without the use of a cuff. And what we have here is a, the true innovation is a radio frequency sensor that can detect the movement of your arteries. And it's based on well-known concept of pulse transit time and pulse wave velocity, we are able to measure blood pressure, pulse, and respiratory rate. And what we have done is taken this very slim sensor, paired it with a comfortable armband, creating a wearable blood pressure monitor and achieving the holy grail of health monitoring. How awesome is that? I mean, because an average human heart beats over 100,000 times a day. Very sensitive clicker. Remember that for the next speakers. Okay. Um, hit play, please. Thank you. No? There we go. An average heart beats over 100,000 times a day. So with Bloomio, what we can now have is insights into your blood pressure and how hard your heart is working for each one of those heartbeats. But that's not the best part. What is world changing here is that we can take that data, pair it with contextual data of your activities, your diet, your medication, 
and overlay that to now truly get that real insight into what's impacting your heart health. That's truly powerful. And I want to introduce you to Jenny. She's a first time mom. Aww. <laughs> Unfortunately, she has gestational hypertension. With Bloomio, what she's able to do now is get that holistic view of how well her body's reacting day in and day out, and keep her blood pressure under management, and give her that peace of mind during this very critical time of her family's life. Our intention is to take this device to market initially directly to consumers. We have a straightforward regulatory pathway as a class two 510K device. And we believe that this is the fastest way for us to showcase the technology. Because what we're building here is a platform technology. We really see this enabling all blood pressure measuring apparatus going to the future, whether it's for hospital, clinical monitoring, or remote patient monitoring. Once we begin shipping the product, our goal is that we anticipate to hit $100 million in revenue by year five. And that's just the starting point to chip away at that $2 billion a year blood pressure monitoring market. So three years ago, my co-founders and I started this journey of thinking about how we can reimagine health monitoring. So for the first two years of that cycle, we funded the R&D of Blue Meal ourselves. This year, we've raised a bit of angel money continue to prototype and doing market validation. Now we need your help. We are now raising $2 million so that we can manufacture a batch of investigational devices and execute validation studies and trials to showcase this technology. And I know I've spoken to a number of you already that are just grabbing at getting these devices and do you know, studies with them. And that million dollars is funding a tremendous team. My co-founder Oliver Shea and I first met while working as technologists at the World Health Organization during the SARS epidemic. And that's where we developed our passion for solving health-related challenges. And since then, we brought on Lillian Day as our chief scientist for her expertise in wireless sensing technology. As an MIT-trained electrical engineer, she connects the practical with the theoretical and helping us building a very robust foundation of IP portfolio. But it's not just the three of us, and you'll see a little bit later as you come by our booth, is that we are supported by a solid team of really amazing engineers with expertise in medical devices, hardware, and software engineering. So in closing, I want to just share and I want to show you how excited we are to be here to tell you about Blue Meal and to showcase what we've built. So do stop by if you haven't done so already. Thank you.